About three weeks ago, I made a video on NNDM following up on the price target that I made originally, and I called this stock a $5 stock when it was just $2.90 per share, and I said I could see NNDM going much higher. When I make videos, they take time because I have conviction in what I say, guys, and I'm here because I'm trying to smash those home runs out the park and make you guys stupid rich. So today, NMDM is going to be a very interesting conversation. My financial model initially gave me an estimated price of $5 per share on October 29th, and I reanalyzed the stock and I got $8 per share, which is shockingly where NMDM was trading on December 28th last week. It's also just above $7.50, the valuation that the company was just valued at when it was raising $250 million in capital. We're now trading higher than $9 per share. You can look at the chart right here. And guys, we've got a lot to discuss in this video. This is video number one in 2021, so Happy New Year's again. And I ended up not only being right, but it basically everything that I said about NEO and NMDM in 2020 has come into fruition and I really want to be on my game in 2021 for you guys. That was slightly surprising, but I did have a lot of conviction in both of those stocks. Otherwise, I wouldn't be posting them on my YouTube channel, but lately the stock has gone even higher than my bullish estimates had predicted. This past week, especially Friday, there has been some news that I think is going to be a big catalyst for us investors going forward. So let's jump into the stock which has made my YouTube family stupid rich and discuss our game plan for 2021. Oh, and by the way, Kathy Wood over at ARK Invest has not stopped buying this stock and customers are upgrading their machines. But I'm getting ahead of myself, so let's discuss first what this stock has done and then get into why it has done so. But first, don't forget to get four free stocks from Webull when you deposit just 100 bucks. It's a really good deal. Their promotion is the best that I have ever seen and it's still available until January 15th. So if you wanna get four free stocks, it's basically like free money. So go ahead and take advantage of that. So look at this image, guys. ARK Q and ARK W. WETF. Look what they did. Kathy Wood has increased positions in both of those ETFs. As you can see here, they added hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of NMDM on December 30th and the 28th for the other ETF, which is now over 4.7 million shares total or about 2.65% of RQ's portfolio. And I was telling you guys that this is probably going to be a top 10 position in Kathy Wood portfolio because that's just where things are seeming to go. I mean, she has not stopped adding to the position back in early December. She was adding pretty much every day. And even in late December, she was adding almost every couple days. So it's pretty insane the amounts of additions that Kathy Wood is making. And that's because she doesn't want to invest all of her money all at once because it would kind of drive up the share of the stock itself. And she just wants to kind of dollar cost average, but unfortunately it's not really going in her way because the stock is getting more expensive and she keeps dollar costing um, higher and higher. But I think that it's totally fine because she has so much conviction in the stock guys. She's buying shares of the stock in the $8 per share range which tells me that her price target for NMDM is probably like $15 or $20 per share because she doesn't even mind buying it near its high level right now. It's also approaching 1% of ARK W's portfolio, so she kind of added this as a new position to that other portfolio there. I mean, things can't be any more clear on Kathy Wood's enthusiasm for this name, can it? I mean, she just added it to a completely new ETF that she has. And we have a combined value of approximately $80 million worth of NMDM and a new addition to her ETF. So I mean, all of the puzzle pieces are just being put together that she's super bullish on NMDM. This is like one of her top picks right now. Now, Nano Dimensions isn't really making any profit yet or the most stable out there, but ARK Invest sees opportunity in them. Otherwise, they would not be adding to their position. And I've said this before, and I expect ARK to maybe slow down on their purchasing behavior, but they have not slowed down on their behavior at all. They have in fact increased, and I have a very interesting chart for you guys in a little second. Even on the last day of the year though, Kathy would put a little over a quarter million in NNDN in both ARK Q and ARK W, which just proves the point. She's investing in NNDM at a sky high valuation, or it seems like it. But if you guys look back at this stock and she ends up being right, this won't be a sky high valuation when the stock in the rear view mirror is like a $20 stock or maybe even a $25 stock 
That's what Kathy Woods is banking on. She thinks the stock can improve to levels that maybe are half of $80, which was the peak of the stock, which would be as high as $40 per share. But even at $25 per share, this would still be a home run for her. I also recommend that Nano Dimensions when it was a penny stock and it no longer is a penny stock. Technically a stock over five bucks is no longer a penny stock anymore because you know penny stocks are usually like a dollar or two and that's actually where kathy woods first picked nano dimensions but now this is becoming a full-fledged small cap stock and on its way to a medium-sized company kathy single-handedly did this for nano dimensions here is a beautiful chart that i promised that i found that shows you the buying prices of arc invests very visually and arc had it at one dollar and 58 cents but as soon as nmdm jumped over two dollars just look at that buying guys and I discovered it myself, and it's been game over since the $2 per share range, and now it's been skyrocketing. If you look at the chart, just speaking to dollar cost averaging, if you guys haven't checked out that video, by the way, it's gonna be pinned in the right corner. ARK Invest is doing exactly that. All those dots right there are purchasing prices for Kathy Wood. This chart almost looks like a Tesla chart. NMDM keeps raising capital at higher and higher valuations, and I wouldn't be surprised if the next round was $9 per share, and what that does, guys, is offer the stock a mini support at each level that they raise capital, since raising capital requires a heavy amount of analysis by the underwriting team. And the market knows that level is reasonable based on fundamental analysis because they know those underwriters have done their research before they raise capital. Now, Nano Dimension specializes in 3D printing technology or electronic components, and they plan to use the proceeds for working capital. That's what they've been planning to do with the money and other general corporate purposes, which may potentially include acquisitions, guys. And they haven't really made that many acquisitions. They haven't been active in that type of setting, but I could see the stock totally purchasing a company that helps their operations. And they just raised $250 million in gross proceeds to fuel up the balance sheet and eventually I can see them having enough cash to purchase a full-fledged other printing company, but it's gonna take some time. However, I am very impressed because NMDM has had such an easy time raising capital and it just keeps raising it at higher levels and this is just impressive to me because that means that the market believes in them and they're not gonna have any financial struggles going into the future. And I said this many times, guys, but almost every three weeks, this company is just going on the shootout. From a top level analysis, Kathy Wood is upping her game in 3D printing, and I'm gonna make a video on her genomic bullish plays in the very near future, but it's very clear that her enthusiasm for genomics, which we've seen all over YouTube, but 3D printing is especially intact. I mean, the increase of her enthusiasm for automation and 3D printing is just unrivaled maybe to just genomics and other EV stocks. However, NMDM is pretty much like her third favorite play here. I mean, first it's Tesla, then we have genomic stocks, but then number three, it's been printing, guys. I mean, she's just been increasing so steadily. I really think that 3D printing is gonna be one of her most bullish plays for 2021. And Kathy Wood has been on record saying this. I wanna show you guys this interesting clip. In addition to your uh, all your innovation fund, the ARKK, which is your main one, uh, you also run the ARK Industrial Innovation ETF, ARKQ is the symbol there. Uh, this obviously invests in companies that are being disruptive in the, in the tech area, but it has the word industrial in it. And sometimes yeah. people don't understand industrial and technology in the same sentence, and I keep explaining that essentially technology is an overlay across all industries. Can you explain this fund a little bit? What, what is it about industrial innovation that you're looking at here, and what's, what's the leaders in this? What do you own in this fund? Sure. Uh, thank you for asking, Bob. Uh, we have actually renamed that fund uh, for exactly the reason you're saying. It was, uh, for many people, that was an oxymoron, industrial innovation, which it is not. Technology is moving into the industrial sector in a, in a very profound way. Um, and uh, so we have renamed it uh, Autonomous Technology and Robotics, just to get a sense. And you can so uh, autonomous vehicles, Tesla's the Tesla really is in the pole position. So that's our largest uh, position there. Uh, robotics generally, actually, autonomous vehicles are robots. But in terms of robotics, uh, in, in the way you and I have understood uh, 
that category historically. 3D printing is a big part of that fund. So you'll have Stratasys in there, uh, Proto Labs, which is a quick turn manufacturing company, which also is in the 3D printing space, as well as Materialize, which is software in the 3D printing mm -hmm. space. 3D printing has been held back by autos in particular and now aerospace, uh, but we think a crisis creates opportunity and that uh, uh, that it is going to accelerate the demand for 3D printing. Uh, you ask where it is? It's in the valley of despair. Many stocks are down 80 to 90 percent from their highs because their focus was on the consumer space and not on the industrial space. Aerospace, if it, aerospace companies like Boeing and Airbus, their gross margins are in the 15 to 20 percent range. 3D printing, now that the FAA is approving it, 3D printing can cut those costs by up to 90%, as well as lower the weight and form factors of, of the various parts in engines and shrink the number of parts. So uh, aerospace, we think, uh, given the turmoil and, and trouble it's in right now, it is going to seek out even uh, more aggressively some of these new technologies that are going to help it get back to profitability. So Kathy in the video said a few things if you caught that. First, that the crisis accelerates demand for 3D printing. She basically said that it's been held back by auto and aerospace, but because companies need to cut costs, automation and no labor robots that can 3D print parts for these two industries are gonna be a huge game changer. It would be silly for these companies not to invest in 3D printing. And I see Kathy Wood doubling down on her belief in 2021, guys. We still have not recovered from the pandemic, and I wasn't planning on that happening back in 2020. Can't believe I can say back in 2020 now. But that's because government, well, they're not that fast in really changing anything. They're working on things, but they're not gonna be like Speedy Gonzales over here. So the crisis is likely to keep pushing technology innovation and they're gonna speed up the technological innovation because companies need that right now. And it benefits companies like Nano Dimensions. Another thing Kathy Wood said in that interview, which I only played a glimpse of because it was kind of a long clip, had to do with Boeing. An aircraft manufacturer Boeing has said that air travel could take up to three years to recover. And specifically Boeing and Airbus, the competitor of Boeing, I mean, those two guys are a duopoly. Their gross margins are in the 15 to 20% range. That's what Wood said. Now that the FFA is approving it, 3D printing can cut those costs by up to 90%. I mean, it's ridiculous. I can't even believe it's that high, but that's what the FAA said. And that's what Kathy Wood research is showing as well. Now, let me ask you guys, if you could cut costs in your business, would you do so? Of course you would, who doesn't wanna save money? If you don't wanna save money, you're just not financially smart, I'm sorry. Saving money in your business just makes so much sense because it is a very important factor for having more of that revenue hit your bottom line and cutting costs is a core component in increasing the bottom line for these large companies out there. But simplifying the amount of parts that go into an aircraft or the weight is also a very good contributing factor. If a plane weighs less, then it will burn less fuel. Also, I probably should have mentioned this first, but less parts means the aircraft manufacturer doesn't need their labor to do as much work. Therefore, it indirectly saves some costs as well. This is just one industry Nano Dimensions is supplying, by the way, guys. Think of all the revenue streams that the company has access to. All these revenue streams are diversified and are the building blocks of a strong and profitable company. I'm not saying the stock will go back up to $80, but if strength continues, this stock could be a 15 or a 20 buck stock. It's clear from the chart that I showed earlier, and I'll show you guys again right here, that Kathy Wood plans to keep adding shares for the foreseeable future. I don't see a stop for a while until she reaches a portfolio holding that is the top five position. At that point, I can see that she has better picks and more favorable stocks that are maybe a little bit larger and more safe for ARK Invest to hold. For example, I know for a fact Nano Dimensions isn't going to be like a top stock holding right there next to Tesla. The company just too small to be up there for now with Tesla in the top two positions. However, even if it does reach number five, that's going to be a confidence level 
of pretty much like stupid rich proportions for ARK Invest because a top five position, I mean, come on guys, she's been adding this stock over the past few months, but it's been a top 10 position recently. In my prediction, this can be a $20 stock, no problem if things continue to progress like this. And this could happen in 2021 for stocks like Nano Dimensions, but for other stocks like Neo and Tesla as well. Sticking to Nano Dimensions though, $20 per share, would still be one fourth of the peak price for this stock. So in my opinion, if things go well, $20 per share or even $25, as I mentioned earlier, is going to be a reasonable price that this stock could be trading at. All right, guys, join Patreon. I'm gonna have some more posts on Nano Dimensions and Neo and Tesla in the very near future. And I'll be back here very soon with another video. Be aggressive in learning, guys. Hope you safe and investing. No one ever sees me.